and welcome to WCRC Action News. I'm Greta. And I'm Martha. Today we have Sophie on the scene reporting from Trash to Treasure, interviewing Jordan and Emily. Hi, I'm Sophie and I'm reporting live for WCRC Action News. Um, what's your name? Emily. Jordan. Uh, what city are you from? I'm from Medfield, Holliston, Massachusetts. That's cool. What is your jo job title at CRCAP? Um, I'm a counselor, and I mostly work in the writing department, with the exception being this class. I am also a counselor, and I do all different classes. I do mini acapella, mini musical, trash to treasure, time travelers. That's cool. What kind of projects do campers get to do in your program? Um, we make a lot of clothes out of um, unusual materials, and we use no sewing, so we use different kinds of adhesives. Um, so we do a lot of different stuff. We do some group projects at the beginning of the session, and then we kind of let campers decide what they want to do. So, um, like Sydney, I don't think she's here today, is making a dress out of crayons. Um, Laurel's making a dress out of water bottles. There's a lot of different cool activities that are happening. That's cool. How long have you been working at CRCAP? This is my fourth year. Also my fourth year. That's cool. Does anyone assist you teaching in your class? Jordan does. Hey. <laughs> well, we co-teach it. Yeah. What makes your class unique or special? Um, I think it's fun to be able to make clothes without sewing. Yeah, I think so too. There are a lot of cool things about this class. Mostly just like the creativity really flows and even if people are using the same materials, they look total, totally different. The the end product, yeah. Thank you, now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Sophie. Now let's go on the scene live with Anna reporting with a camper. Hi, I'm Anna Krzyzewski reporting live with a fellow camper in Trash to Treasure. What is your name? Lauren Alexander. What city are you from? Wellesley, Massachusetts. Now Lauren, what are you, exactly are you working on here? I'm working on a dress that is made out of a garment bag. That is very interesting, a very unique way of making something. Yeah. Why did you choose this class? Uh, it sounded like fun, and I don't know, I like to make things, so that's good. Now back to you at the studio. Thank you, Anna. Now let's go on the scene with Harry. Hi, it's Harry Drucker from WCRC Action News. What's your name? Sophie Ridlon. What city are you from? Medfield, Massachusetts. Um, what, why did you choose to be in this class? Um, I took this last year, and I had a really great time. How long have you been going to CRCAP? Um, this is my second year. Cool. Um, what projects and activities are you currently working on? I'm working on this skirt. It's made out of a garment bag, duct tape, confetti, and packaging air things. Cool. Um, Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Harry. Now let's go to Sophie reporting live with the camper. Hi, I'm Sophie Biro reporting at Trash to Treasure with a fellow camper. What is your name? Elizabeth Napier. What city are you from? Dedham, Massachusetts. Why did you choose this class? I took it last year and it was so much fun. Cool. What projects or activities are you currently working on? I'm working on this dress. Well, made, that's cool. It's made out of a garment bag, paint swatches, and a little ribbon. And duct tape. That's really cool. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Sophie. Now let's go on the scene with Nathan interviewing a camper. Hello, my name is Nathan. And I'm here um, at Trash to Treasures um, class um, in CRCAP. So um, with uh, Lily. Um, so hello. Uh, what's your name? Lily Brown. Uh, what city are you from? Sherburne, Massachusetts. Oh, cool. Um, what is this? Um, I see tennis balls and stuff that looks kind of like duct tape, this but I know it's not. This is a uh, top I'm making out of cut up tennis balls and a garment bag. That is really cool. Um, so, um, um, back to you in the studio. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. And that's all for today. I'm Greta. And I'm Martha. And this is WCRC Action News.